When Jesus went to the cross nearly 2,000 years ago, the world experienced an earth-shaking collision between unfathomable love and unreasoning hatred. It's difficult to imagine the hatred that filled the hearts of those who gathered around the cross, mocking and taunting our Savior as he poured out his life's blood as an atonement for our sin. Talk about, you know, haters and spreading love. They hated Jesus. They still hate him and anyone who follows him. And he loved them to the end, to the utmost, the Bible talks about. But even as they hurled insults at him, and despite the horrible pain he endured, our Lord looked out at them through the eyes of love, asking his Father, Forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. Luke twenty three thirty four. To anyone looking on, it would have seemed that evil had won. Love had been defeated, the Messiah had been killed, but even if evil seems to have the upper hand, God's love always prevails. Because, yes, Jesus died on the cross that day, but he came back to life three days later and walked out of his tomb, triumphant over sin, death and, unim uh, death and unimaginable hatred. He walked out of all of it. Sadly, hate is still at work in our world today, still lashing out to inflict as much damage as possible, especially on Jewish people. Anti-Semitic attacks are on the rise in countries all over the world, more so than other uh, so-called attacks. It's just the reality of things. Um, the Jews are the ones, more often than not, being attacked. And it's not, it's not that a claim for people involved in very bad things who happen to be Jewish who are claiming. It's actually a fact that Jewish people, just regular people living out their lives who happen to be Jewish are facing racism and it's not being noticed and it never is because you know it's just the way it goes the bible talks about how the people of the world on the regular hate the people of god that is the jews and christians and anyone who claims to know christ it's just the way it goes because the world hates christ the worldliness of the world hates christ it's just the way it is but one day Jesus will put all that down, reign as king, and only truth and righteousness will prevail. And that means if you're not covered by Jesus in salvation, you can't make it. You, we, we are not able to stand before such a holy and righteous God. But that's why he died and rose again, to give us the covering of his blood, his righteousness, if we just simply believe and trust that he is the eternal son of God who died on the cross and rose again in our place. He takes all of our sin upon him and he died on the cross and he rose again and it, he destroyed it and, and it's it's finished, it's done, all our sin is gone. If we simply trust on him, he will save us. We are born again, written in the Lamb's Book of Life forever and ever. And so anti-Semitic attacks are on the rise in countries all over the world, including here in the United States. Innocent people are being beaten, assaulted, and having their property destroyed simply because they are Jewish. It's time to stand united. Together we can overcome hate with love. As the Bible tells us, do not be overcome with evil, but overcome evil with good. Romans 12, 21. Don't return unto them what they've done unto you. It's just not a good way to live. As was true 2,000 years ago, there is only one way to overcome the evil that is aligned against the Jewish people, and that is through the love of our Messiah, Jesus showing them love when they don't deserve it. We didn't deserve God's love. Will you help us reach out with his love today, fellow believers in Jesus, and let him handle the justice of it all and the vengeance. He said, vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. So you don't need to give it back to them. They will learn um, the best way, and God will handle that. But let's start by showing love and reaching out and spreading the gospel. And if you're saved, if you just got saved, hallelujah. And I hope that you do end up being saved. If you're not, you don't want to pass up opportunities. Each opportunity gets farther and farther away from you. Just accept today that Jesus died on the cross for you. And ask him to forever be your savior since he rose from the dead.